So what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert. If this is your first time tuning in. So in today's video, we are going to be covering another unconventional side hustle, another way to make some money. Um, right now, that's a question that gets asked quite a bit. Um, how can I make some extra money? People are searching all over Google, just trying to find ways to make ends meet, basically. Uh, right now with this economy, you know, it's getting very difficult. A lot of people are looking for second jobs. A lot of people are looking for side hustles. Um, but sometimes second jobs don't necessarily work for everybody. People have families, people have kids in school. Um, you know, it's not really feasible for a lot of people. So that's the reason we've started this whole series on unconventional side hustles. If you want more ways to make money, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on this video. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, real quickly, if you guys need any drone services, uh, for those of y'all who don't know, I actually do have a business, an Airbnb business, and uh, we have a lot of drones that we use for our business. So we're going to start expanding and offering our services to other businesses. Any realtors needing some land videos for their uh, marketing or for their listings, give us a message. What we do is we really do specialize in land. Um, that's what this business really does is glamping. Um, anyone who needs roof inspections, needing a flyover, maybe check out a roof. Anyone looking to purchase land, needing some videos on what type of land you're purchasing, um, some more in-depth shots, videos, pictures, whatever you need. Um, again, mainly targeting land, but uh, we can do other, other things as well. If you want to see any of our videos, you can go to our TikToks, Facebook, all that stuff, all under the same name, Geodomes of South Texas. I uh, just wanted to mention that that we are gonna be branching out and offering those services to others who uh, need a drone for their marketing or for their listings, especially for you guys, especially for you realtors out there. So the side hustle we're gonna be talking to today is gonna be handyman services. So what is that? What does that entail? Um, taking out that tree. So that's just basically fixing, repairing, installing, basically odds and ends. They're things that are small, don't require a bunch of time but you can kind of get them done for a good reasonable price and it still makes some good cash it's worth your time basically there's different types of by the way these freaking flies out here in the country they freaking hurt when you get i don't know what they sting you or what they do but god dang they hurt um that's what was biting me right now um what was i saying god dang it um yeah, so what kind of jobs are you usually doing? So typically some of the jobs that you'll do, like these flies, oh my gosh, they freaking hurt. Holy crap. Uh, <clears throat> it's because it's so dry. I'm getting off topic, but it's because it's so freaking dry and I'm sweating and they're getting the freaking moisture off of me because it's so dry out here. Um, anyways, some of the jobs that this entails are... Um, Installing TVs, ceiling fans, fixing fences, small plumbing leaks, um, just little things like that, that maybe a large company may not want to do. Maybe it's not worth it for them, um, etc. Those are little voids in the market that you can kind of fill in. And especially if you're in a high density area, if you're in the rural area like myself, eh, a lot of people out here know how to do all that stuff themselves. So they're not really going to pay somebody to come out and do it um a lot of people who live in rural areas like this do a lot of things themselves they don't rely on others um mainly because it's so far and it's hard to get people out here too so but if you're living if you're living in a high density area a big metropolitan area there's probably a good chance that you can definitely make some good cash um doing these things especially if you know how to handle or know how to use tools and you know how to do these things like i said small plumbing things um small little maybe hvac stuff uh installing ceiling fans lights etc just small little odds and ends tvs there's different things that people will call you for and again it may not be because they don't know how to do it it may be because they don't have the time they don't have the tools there's different reasons why but most of these jobs will pay decently depending on what you're doing um, anywhere between 50 bucks 150 bucks it's probably pretty reasonable again depending on what you're what you're gonna be doing and again if you're gonna be repairing a whole fence that's maybe a day or two of work 
I'm just getting all kinds of freaking messed up. Look at that. God damn it. Anyways, like I was saying, um, ran into some freaking little bob wire. Must have been a cow that got it caught on their on their fur or something and brought it over here. But um, anyways, like I was saying, um, typically it's between fifty to one hundred fifty dollars for something like that for a small job like that. Again, if you're gonna be doing a fence, that's gonna be taking multiple days. Typically, it's gonna be a lot more, um, obviously, because it's taking more time. Um, there are some jobs that are like a little bit more, I guess, lucrative if you want. There's a uh, small roofing repair. Small roofing repairs pay pretty well because roofing in general is expensive. So those jobs are usually 250, 300, 500. They get up into the hundreds for sure. Um, again, depending on how much work you're going to be doing. If you're going to be going up on a roof and doing a lot of work, then it starts to get up into the thousands. Um, but even for small repairs, they're definitely in the hundreds of hundreds of dollars range. Now, again, if you're in an area where there's a lot of people in a small area, you can definitely make more money. Um, if you're in a rural area like myself, um, that the amount of time it's going to take to get from one client to the next, it's time is money, right? So if you're having to drive an hour, 30 minutes just to get to the next client, it's going to take away from how much you can make per day. Say you're doing this on a weekend on your days off, you know, it's going to take some time away. So. If you're in a high density area where you have a lot of people in a small general location, um, typically you can make a little bit more money because the distances you're gonna be traveling from customer to customer is a lot less. Um, but again, you can, you know, sometimes out in the rural area, um, especially as people start to get older, even if they live out in the rural area, if they don't have kids or grandkids who come out and fix things, they can definitely look for people that are older who need things done um, who are willing to pay you to come out and do it. Um, you're doing them a service because it's something they need done. Um, and it's usually big jobs. Usually in the country, there's usually a lot of big jobs that need to be done, especially doing fence work, um, housework, ranch work, farm work. There's a lot of odds and ends things that need to be done. They require a handyman. Um, but again, maybe they don't have kids, maybe they don't have grandkids, maybe they don't even live in the, in the area. There's different reasons why, but I'm just trying to give you guys examples or ideas of other ways to make some money and how you can find these people, locate these people. Um, again, you can just put your put your information on, you know, different farm and seed places, farm and ranch stores, tractor supplies, um, any kind of these things always freak me the freaking hell out. I hate them. <clears throat> Um, any kind of, of uh, uh, feed stores usually is where people are going. And usually these jobs are bigger jobs. So you're going to be there for, probably, probably for a couple days um, doing this kind of work. Um, but again, those are just little small ideas of how you can find people like that. Now I'll quickly talk about which handyman jobs kind of pay the most. If you're just trying to go out there and make the most amount of money for your time, what is it that you should be paying attention to? Roofing, like I said earlier, is definitely one of them. Um, plumbing, and if you have any kind of electrical certification, then electrical is also another one. But a lot of places will require you to have some type of certification to start touching people's electrical. Um, so uh, those are the top three things I would consider uh, for handyman services. Um, the next ones, you know, they kind of vary off, but again, fencing pays pretty well, but not as well as the other three. Um, TV mounting, fixed, installing fixtures. Those are all smaller jobs. They're typically not as physical or as demanding, so they don't pay as much. They don't require as much skills. So again, they don't pay as much, especially like for, uh, schooling. You don't have to go to a two year schooling program for like electrical or plumbing and things like that but just to give you guys some ideas of things to consider things to think about now something really quickly if you are going to get serious about doing a handyman side job business um, you always want to invest in some really good high quality tools um, that's something that you cannot skimp on um, because it's gonna make your life so much easier or it can make your life so much more difficult um, especially if you have you know cordless cordless tools that are just always going out on you because the batteries are just poorly made or don't hold charge things like that um, 
you'll find out <laughs> after doing it that if you just buy the right tools, put the money into the right things, specifically tools, especially for what you're gonna be doing, that it makes your life so much easier and you can make so much more money because you have less downtime. So um, if you gained any value from this video, guys, definitely give this video a like, definitely share and subscribe to the channel. We put out videos weekly on different side hustles. So without further ado, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.